Hey everyone, Scott here to discuss The Matrix, starring Keanu Reeves, Lawrence Fishburne, Carrie Ann Moss, Hugo Weaving, and Joe Pantoliano, and directed by the Wachowski brothers. Or should I say, the Wachowskis. No need to say brothers anymore. Now, I am look on um, I'm gonna see how the Matrix goes with starting from this movie to Animatrix to Reloaded to Revolutions to now this new movie Resurrections. So I'm kind of excited to come back to the Matrix at this point. So let's see how this goes. Let's get into the movie. We open with some police officers busting into a rest trinity played by Carrie Ann Moss until she beats their asses up while Agent Smith, played by Hugo Weaving, comes up with more cops and chase Trinity from the roof. And see, the CGI looks amazingly groundbreaking for 1999. We get introduced to hacker Neo, played by Keanu Reeves, getting awakened by his computer in his apartment, and messages are being sent by the mysterious Morpheus, played by Lawrence Fishburne, on his computer saying the Matrix has him, and we follow the White Rabbit, which is kind of freaky as his client, Troy, comes by and invites Neo to a party with his girlfriend and other people who has a tattoo of the white rabbit on her arm. And he goes to the party and meets Trinity. I really like the characters as the question throughout the movie is, what is the Matrix? Which I can't remember if they answered right off the bat, but we'll see. Neo goes to work the next day as Morpheus delivers the cell phone to him as he calls Neo to run from Agent Smith. And the cops won't, and he does at first, but doesn't want to jump off the roof. And I really like the cinematography of this movie, as it looks great for 1999. Neil drops his phone, he gets captured by Agent Smith, and held captive as they interrogate him, was says absolutely nothing, gives them the finger while Agent Smith puts a mechanical bug in his stomach, and goes to his stomach, which is in his stomach, which is fucking nasty, by the way, as he wakes up hours later in his apartment as Morpheus calls and meets with Neo because he's been looking for him as he's the one and goes in the car and Trinity gets the bug out of the stomach and meets more with Morpheus himself as the chemistry is great by these two actors. And Lawrence Fishburne's character, Morpheus, says, I believe a hell of a lot in this series as I, as he explains what is the Matrix which is the world he's living in is 1999, and the real world, the year is 2199. And Neo is offered the blue pill, which is the Matrix, and the red pill takes him to the real world in 2199. As Neo meets other crew members like Cypher, played by Joe Pantoliano, Apoc, Mouse, Switch, Dozer, and Tank, as Dozer and Tank are brothers, and Neo enters the world with robots, as they are the best special effects in the series, as well as 1999, even better than Star Wars The Phantom Menace. Neo gets on the ship, called the Nebuchadnezzar, and gets tested with pins on his body and relaxes muscles, and puts some things to connect him to the Matrix, as the real world of 2199 looks like it's a war zone with robots, as he enters the world of 1999 as a construct in a computer program, as Neo is digitalized by the Matrix, and again, the effects are tremendous in this movie. Neo gets sick as he was told the truth, as he doesn't choose to believe it, but eventually he will. Neo learns about Zion, which is the lost, last city in the real world, which we'll see in the next film by Tank, and as Tank trains him jujitsu and kung fu as he spars with Morpheus in a dojo, and the dojo is great, wire fu. And the music has felt very 1990, sure. And as the spar ends, Morpheus beats Neo, and they try again to test the speed. And I love the line Morpheus says, which is, Come on, stop trying to hit me and hit me! As he, at the end of that test, and they go to the jump program, as Morpheus tells Neo to free his mind, but it's Neo's first time as he doesn't, which, which makes it... Our, but he doesn't make it, which are the greatest introduction introduction scenes in my opinion and i get the impression cypher is in love with trinity which is kind of obvious but it shows very well while morpheus shows neil the matrix they get interrupted by some squiddles or sentinels let's say and these things look like mechanical octopuses and those things 
are freaky looking with their eyes that look like bugs. And it also looks like a fly with its multiple eyes. Neo take, talks with Cypher as Cypher believes he's not a savior. As Neo gets the wrong idea about him. And next thing you know, Cypher talks with Agent Smith in the Matrix about capturing Morpheus as the crew is eating breakfast together. And this movie is well made for an action movie from 1999. Morpheus takes the crew to take Neil to meet the Oracle. And we get to the before meeting the Oracle as one kid is mind bending the spoon. And Neil bends the spoon briefly as he's introduced to the Oracle played by Gloria Foster. As she's a future teller and asks Neo if he is the one and tells him about being the one as she tells him he's not the one as she's got he's got the gift and making a choice and I like the scene for the set decoration and Gloria Foster delivers a good performance from that scene Neo sees a deja vu of a black cat as we learn that's a glitch in the matrix as agents come and kill mouse while others get the rest of the crew while Tank gets them an exit to get out of the Matrix and hides from the agents in the walls, which is a smart idea, but how the fuck did they get out of there in the first place? Well, it doesn't matter, but Morpheus fights Agent Smith, which, while getting brutally beat up as Neo and Trinity get out of the building, and Cypher gets out of his own way while the others are trapped in the Matrix... As Cypher shoots at Tank and Dozer while Tank is briefly dead, while Cypher talks with Trinity while pulling the plug on, on Apoc and Switch, and almost pulls the plug on Neo, but Tank gets back up and kills Cypher, and I felt bad for Dozer, Apoc, and Switch as the, they were interesting characters as I cared for them because of what their arcs are. Agent Smith interrogates Morpheus and puts some kind of drug in him and tries to break his mind as Agent Smith wants to get in Zion while Tank is forced to pull the plug on Morpheus but Neil says stop and makes a choice to go back in the Matrix and Trinity goes with him and gets guns lots of guns which is a line John Wick stole later in another film that I stars Keanu Reeves and it's a badass line in both films while well, Agent Smith tries to force Morpheus to giving up Zion as Neo and Trinity enter the same building Morpheus and Agent Smith are in and shoot up the place, which is the best scene in the whole movie, in my opinion anyways. Particularly a scene after when they're in the elevator and the elevator explodes with the door and it bounces and flies around and sprinkles sprinklers go on the agents, which is really funny in my opinion. Neo and Trinity beat up all the agents as one gets the one of the agents shoots Neo as he does the awesome trick that makes him move like they do as his knees are bending and his arms are flying but eventually he gets hit by a bullet and almost kills neil but trinity shoots the agent saying dodge this and trinity gets an upload on flying a helicopter while neil shoots the agents and get morpheus the fuck out of there as they jump towards each other and save each other's life and Agent Smith shoots at the fuel on the helicopter, and Neo and Morpheus land on the same building, and Neo saves Trinity, and after the hand, Tank says he's the one, which is a great miracle they show in the subway, to pick up a phone that only Morpheus and Trinity make it out alive as Agent Smith shoots the phone, and Trinity gets out of there, and Neil has, has a long fight between him and Agent Smith. And I had fun with that fight at, while it's brutal, but it's second best compared to the building fight. Agent Smith almost kills Neo by a train. And Neo gets out and Agent Smith get ran over by a train, gets run over by a train and makes it out alive. And while he runs and have a, and have a chase with Agent Smith while Morpheus... Trinity and Tank have Sentinels coming their way to kill them and destroy their ship. And Neo makes it to his destination, but is shot by Agent Smith and dies at first. And the Sentinels come in and Trinity confesses she's in love with Neo. But for some miracle reason, Neo, because of the, that love, gets back up and fights Agent Smith and can stop the bullets from the agent's guns. 
and sees the computer world as he is the one and blows up Agent Smith while in his body and scares the two other agents away, which is kind of amusing, and comes back to the real world and saves the ship from the Sentinels, and he makes one last call to some random citizen to tell this person about the real world and flies out. And the climax is fun and amazing as this whole movie. Now it's time for the rating. I'll give this movie a 8.7 out of 10. This movie is action-packed with the, some fun moments, and I cared so much for the characters as they're very relatable. The special effects look beyond fantastic as it holds up for 1999, and the music felt very 1990s, sure, and that's okay because this movie is hell of a lot of is a hell of a lot of fun. The Wachowskis do a tremendous job at making this movie look phenomenal, as this is the same people, including the new generation, should watch before the new movie. So I'd like to thank you guys for joining me, and next time we'll be back with The Animatrix. And until then, you are the one, Neo.